Throughout the last 24 hours, I drove into the depths of the scorching hot Nevada deserts and into one of the most highly guarded military bases in the country, Area 51. With almost 2 million dedicated soldiers pledging to raid the Area 51 base, I knew it was my responsibility to scout out the area, sneak into the military base, find any loopholes if possible, and document the entire journey of getting there for all of my internet brethren. But what I discovered about Area 51 and the people there was something I never could have expected. Just watch. Area 51, here I come. Pretty sure I'm gonna miss my flight. Wish me luck. I made it to the plane. As long as it doesn't crash, I'm coming your way, E.T. <laughs> Here we are at the peak of moral degeneracy and human corruption, Las Vegas Sin City, baby. It is midnight right now. The game plan is to go to the Las Vegas Strip, find some locals, ask for some supreme knowledge regarding Area 51, and then once I get the knowledge I came here for, I'm gonna take the gnarly four-hour drive all the way into the depths of the unknown desert in Las Vegas, Nevada, and hopefully survive the night. Wish me luck. Before I go anywhere, though, much less a heavily guarded military base, I need need to go pick up the Maserati rental. Yeah, I think it was like a Maserati or something like that. <laughs> no? We got the goods. Apparently they overbooked so I got to pick whatever car I want. No Maseratis here though, sadly. All right, I just caught myself a Jeep for $30 a day. Not bad, let's see if it even works. How do I turn this car on, yo? I found a humble two-star Walgreens. It's time to find the goods. After I went and got snacked up at Walgreens, I went to the nearest Denny's and got some real food in my stomach, and my journey finally began. All right, I'm in the epicenter of all that is Vegas right now. I just need to find some locals that are willing to tell me everything about Area 51. Yo, I don't know how I ended up here, but I'm in some Parisian clone hotel right now. This place is actually pretty sick. Area 51 patrol is tight tonight. Okay, so I'm headed We're to Area- We're escorts from Vegas. Oh, are you really? Yeah. Right. I'll tell you it's the way out. The police are here. Okay. Is it cool to get on the video, though? Yeah. Okay, for sure. Okay, so I'm headed to Area 51 in okay. like two hours. I'm headed out to I'm the... Lauren Lollipop, by the way. Follow me, onlyfans.com, if you horny boys up late night. Anyways, so I'm headed out to Area 51. Okay. In the middle of the desert. Do I survive, first of all? No. It's hot. It's lonely. Coyotes. <laughs> aliens. Do aliens exist? Yes. This is oh, Mara for sure. Find them at Area right 51. Here. Mara Good Mars. Good luck with that. I don't know if you find them at Area 51, but they're out there. Yeah. Mars, right here. Well, they didn't know Mars. So, do I come back alive? I doubt it. As long as you don't pass the sign? Uh, yes. So, you, you have trying to, to go. dig if underground. Are you actually going? Because, like, there's yeah. so many people in this world that will take memes way too far and actually go to Area 51. You, you better come back alive. Yeah. Positive vibes. Like, positive. Positive. I'm not going to exude positive vibes, though. They might be neutral or hostile. Who knows? <laughs> Well, they're gonna snipe y'all, boy. They might let y'all have it. Don't do it. Don't do it? Don't do it, man. Ain't no more aliens there. They move the aliens. <laughs> you think they'll blast my brains out? They're not gonna do it. All right, man. Everyone seems to think there are aliens out here. It's only a matter of time until I find them for myself. Area 51, I'm on my way. What's up? I had a Canon M50 in my bag okay. that was stolen. This one guy gave me a card that said finger a mother's Gucci for a snoochie or something. And I was like, nah, man, I'm good. All right, now that I've spoken to the Las Vegas locals, it's time for me to confront reality and Area 51. I'm shivering in my boots on the inside, but I came here to get something done. And it's now time to execute, sadly. I just really don't want to get shot, to be honest. I'm going to attach this GoPro to my head while I drive. Just to give you guys an idea of how far I'm driving out of the main Vegas strip area into the literal desert. So enjoy. This was quite quite possibly the spookiest drive of my life. Delving deeper and deeper into the Nevada deserts with no one but a few trucks here and there in my eyesight, I knew that if I ran out of gas at any given moment, I was probably gonna die. Not to mention the fact that I was practically driving while asleep. My head was actually bobbing like a bobblehead. This was not the most responsible thing I've ever done in my life. I probably should have stopped to the side and taken a nap, but I was super tired and hadn't slept in over 20 hours or so. After I left the strip, I've been driving for a solid hour and a half or so. I'm straight up hills have eyes in the middle of nowhere right now. Creepy as hell. While driving, I literally almost fell asleep three to four times at the wheel. Thank God these little vibration devices saved my life. By the grace of God, I'm alive right now. No joke. Definitely could have swerved off and done something crazy. You cannot hear anything out here. This has got to be one of the weirdest feelings in the world right now. You cannot hear a soul out here. I hear these maggots. That's the only thing I'm hearing. There's the Jeep I rented. Hopefully it has enough gas to get me to where I need to go. And here's me in the middle of 
actual nowhere. I have roughly an hour and a half to go until I hit the little alien inn. Pretty sure I see a coyote right over there. Great. One spooky statistic for all of you is that once a week someone dies from hitting a bovine on the road. Bovine is, for those of you who don't know, a cow. And here's the road. There is no one behind me. No one in front of me. No one. There's literally no noise out here. This is insane. This is a very picturesque setting right here, I gotta say. I've been out here for a solid four or five minutes, getting a little nervous. I have a solid three hours roughly to go until I get to Area 51. All right, so we're even deeper into the desert, obviously, roughly 30, 40 minutes deeper in. And I drove right past the sign that said Coyote Springs. It is right behind me, so I saw this well-lit structure in the distance, but it must be part of this Coyote Springs. I don't know if this is a city or what. The sign is right over there. The city I'm headed towards right now, it's called Rachel, population 58. Alamo is apparently in this direction. I'm just going farther and farther away from Vegas, and I figured I'd do this. If I die, it's a good way to go out. I'm in the middle of the desert, so why not? <laughs> My name's Tyler Oliveira. I've come to save all the aliens. All right, it's time to get out of here. That was enough of a disturbance. All right, I'm just taking a walk, just trying to wake up a little bit. So I found this pretty gorgeous looking lake out here or body of water, reservoir, whatever you want to call it. Have some Pringles. I think it's time to chill for a second. God, this is spooky. Maybe I'll find my Zen out here. After chowing down on my power food and observing the scary yet beautiful side of nature, I hopped back into my car and I was extremely close to civilization at this point. Surprisingly, I stumbled upon another motel. It's called the Sunset Inn. Did not know anyone was out here. I'm gonna come inside and then ask them just how far away Area 51 is. Looks like there is no vacancy and a super angry dog. It looks as if it's someone's home. Hi there. Question, do you know how far away Area 51 is? 45 minutes? All right, I just went inside and had a conversation with the lady who runs this place. It's basically like this 10 room motel slash liquor store. Her entire family runs the place and they all live here, work here, and they drive into Vegas once a week to get supplies and whatnot. She said that on September 15th through the 20th, they're absolutely packed and people are calling in like crazy trying to get a room here, but there's nothing left. They're gonna make some major bank off this entire fiasco. She did say though that chances are if I walk up to that fence, they're probably gonna take my camera if I make it obvious that I'm recording which I intend on doing, which is the frustrating part about this. So this will be a pretty high risk operation towards the end. And after investigating some peculiar shops that lured tourists in to sell their alien trinkets and whatnot, I eventually hit the famous extraterrestrial highway. I'm proud to say I finally made it to, to the extraterrestrial highway. All right, boys, open range for the next 110 miles. And this last stretch of driving to the city of Rachel is probably the creepiest part of this entire trip. I didn't see one car this entire hour long drive no motels nothing i haven't seen anyone for probably 40 45 minutes at this point kind of spooked out a little bit we made it finally made it to a city looks like i found a pretty barren wasteland of a city but nonetheless a city all right i finally made it to little alien and let's see how this place operates all righty let's check this place out you got the iconic saucer and truck even more iconic the ale in sign right here bunch of trailer parks behind me i think they function as the motel and whatnot yeah it's uh it's top tier it would have been cool to stay the night in one of these but yeah these rooms are just littered throughout this trailer park-esque area and then i'm waiting for this restaurant to open i'm gonna chow down get some directions and call it a day all right hell let's take a look inside shall we after refueling with a proper meal at this strange restaurant with hundreds of one dollar bills hanging from the ceiling i asked the nice alien waitress lady to give me directions to area 51 and of course she did and i was on my merry way so and right about where he just passed right in that area you're gonna hang a right and you're gonna follow right behind the valley here Okay. You're gonna follow it behind the valley and approximately 10 miles back, you'll hit a 24 seven mandated gate. Okay. That has all kinds of signs and buildings and sensors gotcha. and cameras. And now I was set. Saying goodbye to the little alien. Deuces, wish me luck world. All right, she gave me the map that wasn't as secret as I would have thought. And of course I now know where I need to go. I'm gonna keep the camera right here. It's gonna record me driving up in case any shady business goes down. I haven't seen any of the white vans yet, but I do see the road that I need to take. 
takes. So 1.7 miles behind me is the back gate. Hopefully I don't get shot. Pray to Jesus Christ, nothing bad happens. And just as the waitress lady told me, if I went down the same road I came up, roughly 1.7 miles past the little ill inn is a stop sign. If I take a right on that stop sign, it'll lead me down a rocky road, which I then take for another 20 minutes or so. And supposedly I would eventually hit the Area 51 military base. I'm apparently supposed to follow this dirt path all the way until I hit the gates. Courage, 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 let's go. And I was so courageous on my drive up there, I had to stop on the side of the road and uh, empty my water bottle. All right, so 100% there is a van coming in my direction. I don't know if it's leaving work or something like that. I feel like the surroundings I'm in right now are even more desolate than they were initially at like five in the morning. Mountains to my left, very small traces of human civilization behind me and my rented Jeep. All right, round two, let's finish the job. We're getting pretty close to this. Oh, okay, there it is. White van, I don't know if I'm supposed to stop. Ah, oh, Jesus. And I drove for a solid 20 minutes deeper into the Area 51 zone until I saw what I thought was a robotic reindeer surveillance system. Bro, no joke. I don't know if this is a fake. Okay, it's definitely real. I thought it was a surveillance robot. What's up, dog? Have a good one, man. Oh yeah, I just checked out the map. I definitely have a ways to go. Sweet mother of Christ, I found it. So this gravel stone path has just turned into a semi asphalt path right here i'm just waiting to see if there's any camo men in the distance for reference this is what the road looks like now wow. nice clean smooth ride coincidence i don't think so Alrighty, i found it for reals for reals this time we made it to area 51 folks area freaking 51 doesn't look like there's anyone here but i guess we'll see Let's take a look. Military installation off limits to personnel. No trespassing. So I guess this is the line you can't cross for your Dunsky. Warning, no trespassing. Authority, NRS 207-200, maximum punishment, $1,000 fine. Six months imprisonment, Jesus Christ. Or both, strictly enforced. Warning, unauthorized personnel not permitted beyond this point. Seems like a pretty peaceful place to build a military base, I suppose. I haven't even seen any of those mysterious camo men. You have this first game and then a gate behind it and then et who knows let's just take a look starting from this side though we've come all this way so there's this gate and then there's just barbed wire that goes all the way across it just wraps all the way across this entire desert basically so this barbed wire connects eventually with this gate here and then that's it this is a pretty boring place there's nothing much to storm at area 51 if 1.7 million people were to actually show up which is not going to happen let's say 0.1 percent of those people actually show up so you have a pretty large sum of people here there's nothing to do necessarily beyond what i don't know run past the barrier and get yourself shot it goes from rocky to paved and then you know you're going somewhere far more secretive than you would have thought i haven't had anyone come out or talk to me i don't know if there's anyone even here i'm assuming of course there is i don't know why they would leave an abandoned military base like this out here and then as i was taking a video slash photo in front of the gates for a thumbnail i heard this pretty loud slam of a door behind me Okay, a door just slammed. So I'm assuming someone's here. That spooked the hell out of me. Let's get one last picture and call it a day and get the hell out of here. And to be completely honest, I don't think there's anything out here, folks. I don't think there are any aliens. I don't think there are any secret. Well, all right, there's probably some secret technology hidden deep into the abyss of the US governmental base. All I know is if I were to go beyond these gates, I would probably get killed. This is Area 51. I don't know if it's worth the time to come out here to storm. One day's entire journey thwarted by nothing to actually discover. It's just a barren waste land folks pretty neat though and no joke whoever it was slammed the door again and on that note it's time to get the heck out of here cheers thank you for not arresting me all right well they slammed the door twice i think that's my cue to go they just slammed the door and nothing else so area 51 say your goodbyes everyone this is area 51 for what it's worth was it worth it was it worth all the mental emotional trauma no i'm trying to get the f out of here right now goodbye area 51 this was the most lackluster uninspiring event of my life that i happened to waste more than 24 hours trying to get here i'm not sure if i should be disappointed or excited that i got the footage and i'm out of here alive unscathed i can't really complain i got everything i came here for that was just lame as hell all right i'm at the only gas station in this area i'm gonna ask the locals if they have any crazy alien stories yo man what's going on dude not much just 
driving to Vegas right now. Oh yeah, okay. Would you consider yourself a, a resident of this general area? When I when I work, yeah. Have you seen anything extraterrestrial as of lately? Uh, I didn't see anything this year, but last summer when we were here on the farm, we were looking out at the clouds, and we thought okay. it was the moon. Okay. It was just bright as f like almost pinkish. Okay. We thought it was the moon behind the clouds. And then we look away, we start playing horseshoes, and we look back, and it's like a little triangle just sure. coming out below the clouds. And we look to the right, and there's the moon. So we're like, what the f is that? Moon, yeah. And it slowly just descends, seriously, like this big old triangle. Okay. And it's like every color of the rainbow, bright as f the sky for a minute, and then it's gone. UFO. Or something. Have you ever had any wild encounters with aliens? I have not, no. Okay, have you ever had any moments where like, that could be an alien? And then I began the long trek home. I'm driving back to Las Vegas right now. I just got back from Area 51 and I'm afraid I'm gonna accidentally kill myself while falling asleep on the road here. I think the term's called micro sleep when you fall asleep for like two or three seconds and you immediately bounce back. Honest to God, I think I might crash the car if I don't wake up soon. I just need to... Oh my God, that feels so good. Okay, hopefully that should make me last another 20, 30 minutes maybe. I just need to get back to Vegas and then I can just Uber to the airport and go to sleep or something. I'm about to fall asleep on the road and die. That's my biggest fear. I'm gonna fall asleep, so I'm just gonna take a nap. I might miss my plane because of this, but I've tried pouring water. I ate a bunch of Starbursts. I've tried lowering the windows down so the wind just beats my face, but I just need to take a breather for 15, 20 minutes and then I'm just gonna drive to the car rental place and call it a day. I might miss my plane because of this, but it's better than dying. And then I took the most useless five minute nap of my life and drove back half asleep, waking up in a different lane on the road and whatnot. But surprisingly, I made it to the car rental place in one piece and conveniently enough, the car wasn't damaged at all. So that's a big win in my book. All right, after a few delays in my flight, I made it to my homeland. I've officially escaped that deserted wasteland that we call Area 51. And I'm back in the civilized modern society I've come to love. And I'm back in my faithful steed, ready to drive home. Finally! 27 hours since I left, I'm finally back. That was an extremely unpleasant and unnecessary journey, but yeah, what, what even was the point of that? Not even sure what the point of that was, actually. <laughs>